Hi everyone, so today I have a sponsored video for you from Tonic Studios for their new Joyful Jug die set. It's the new showcase they just launched. Um, it makes a beautiful project as you saw in the thumbnail there, so I'm really excited to get going on this one. So generally what I do in my videos is I do a step-by-step -step of the actual construction, so hopefully that will um, help you out when you're putting yours together. And so these items were sent free of charge from my review, and of course, all opinions are my own. And any links have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. Um, I do have them for the US and the UK, and um, I thank you for using those if you would like. Again, down in the description box uh, under the video title. Um, yeah, so we're just going to jump right to it. So hopefully you can kind of see the main portions of the this guy. It's like a milk jug, so you have this portion, and then as you can see this part here, but you do have a left and right to make it, um, sorry, I had to take a quick pause, and I forgot where it was, but we have those guys, all your inlays or uh, matte layers, gorgeous things like that, obviously your bases and things, and then on the very top there's going to be like a little flower, I suppose if you want, um, we'll see once we get the construction going if um, you can just leave it out, maybe you don't have to put that top portion if you don't want to, just make the little jug shape, right, so um, different ways to play with that, so yeah, you have your matte layers, you, again, you have left and rights because they are going to be going in opposite directions to make the like a milk jug right like an old school kind of uh, thing like that and then you have um, cute portions that I help you make um, like a bow that goes around the whole thing if you want to add that you have tags which is great for any project so you have the tags there you have this one with a little scalloped edge you can pop in lots of love um, this one has home and flowers there can be like a little sign in there uh, all your greenery and swirls and little bees and flower centers and flowers and all the parts that you need for your mechanism and everything like that so generally what we do is we just get right to it so let me grab some uh, base papers and then we will go from there I'll be right back. Okay, so I grabbed some of this um, kind of shimmery silver paper I thought with like a little platinum jug or that kind of look. Maybe I'll um, matte layer with this kind of creamy color one, but for right now let's get the pieces that we need for our very base and then obviously you have matte layers and things like that. So, okay, for so um, we're going to need this portion which makes like the little spout and your base color. I mean, you can mix and match colors I suppose for right now. I'm going to keep it all the same for our very base. You need one of those. You're going to need the left jug top and the right jug top, and then the left and right that continues with that. So, like this guy, and this guy, only one of each. And then these guys kind of continue that portion, so you're going to need one of this one, and one of this one. Okay? So, each of those things I just placed there, you only need one of. Um, we do have stems and things like that. I don't know that we need to do that quite yet. I think we can work with that a little bit later. So right now, I just want to make like the, the jug itself. So the side panel, which is the larger one I showed you at the beginning, you need four of this one, okay? Um, the jug base and your jug lid. So base and lid, base is this big guy, and you need two of that. And then your lid, you need two of this, but you also need one with some little holes that are going to correspond to like the flowers that you're going to pop in them. So uh, just something to think about. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run this through now. Like you need two of them. One will have holes and one won't, okay, for this one. But we'll do the holes later, even though I could pop them on there right now and get them cut. But um, I want to see kind of what I'm looking at before we do that part. So we still need two of these, okay? And we'll put holes in the second one later. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything else that's right now needed for this guy. I think maybe just uh, a handle, and that's probably about it for now. I believe this is the handle here. The image of the handle that they have is, and the instruction is more rounded, but basically it's this one, because obviously you don't see one anywhere else. So you need um, one of these guys. And like I said, I think that's all I need for right now. We are going to have a hinge and things like that for the top. Right now we're working on this very base piece. So I'll run these pieces through, and I'll be right back. Guys, you know, I just load up as many as I can that makes sense, and then go from there. So we already did the one of one, one, one of those. So I don't need those anymore. And then I'll just find other spots where I can place more things in a way that conserves the paper. So like in here, this one might fit here, but it looks like it might fit this way better. So I'll leave it in there, just like that. And then keep adding okay. things in. So I have my handle cut. I have that pour spout area. We have the left and the right. If you can imagine, this comes around, right? These two pieces, and then these two. We have four of the side pieces, two of the small circle and two of the large circle. Now, I was going to start putting this together, and I suppose we can do that, but we also want to add, um, at least I will at this point, and usually I decorate at the end, but I'm thinking because of the shape and the roundness and all the different things, that we should go ahead and put our decorative areas on. So I'm just going to do inlays uh, or matte layers. I was wondering... 
Um, I have this cream colored paper, sorry. And so I think what I'll do is do four of these guys just the way they are. Just a matte layer, so just going to cut out four of these simply. If you want the inlays, you have this bottom one, you have this top piece that will cut something out. However you want to you know, mix and match those, it's going to be really lovely. I think for these guys, I'll go ahead and do the inlays. So for each one of these, I'm just going to run it through, put some tape so that those don't move all at once. So for that one, for this one, for these side pieces here, they also have, again, just a matte layer or a background piece if you want it to be different from the base color. And then your inlay you know, on the top layer, however you want to do that. But all these guys, of course, I'll tape them so they don't move. So we'll have those pieces, and I will be right back. So just one of each of these, and then four of that um, very base. Okay, so I'll be right back. Have these all. I run them at the same time, just with the tape so that they don't shift around. Um, pop all these little bits out. And I took about half a page, maybe a little more. Um, okay, so I'll do that in just a moment. So with these guys, we're just going to glue these guys onto the center. At least that's what I'm doing. Um, you also have a pretty decorative, like, kind of lattice-y, lacy look that you can put on the handle, if you would like. So I'm just centering those kind of in the center. <laughs> centering them in the center. Um, and I'll do that for all four. And I'll be right back. And with these guys, I'm just going to clean them out and find the piece that coordinates like for that one it would be this piece and just glue that right in the center right same thing for this side and then for the smaller pieces they have their own decorative pieces so when I come back these will all be glued in okay I'll hey be back. guys looking so pretty so again we have our left and our right I will say the right looks a little bit different on this second piece because it has like the glue tab where this one doesn't because it's going to meet up and doesn't need to have a glue tab again on that side and then we have these four guys our two circles still, the small ones and the larger ones. And then um, these other pieces are our handle and our spout. Okay, so I'm going to put these to the side for right now. And with these guys, what they want you to do is go ahead and kind of take the back and kind of start rounding them a little bit, right? Because they're going to make a round item, but they're just saying to kind of come in here. So how that kind of wanted to come apart from the base layer. You can do this as you're going along also when you first um, put the glue on because the glue probably still a little bit wet in there. It'll kind of help you get that rounding. Okay. And I'm just doing a little bit, guys. <laughs> so we'll see how much more we need when we get there. Just trying to gently round that out. Okay. And... We're going to need to glue these together with the long glue tabs. And again, you're not really folding the glue tabs right now, but um, you want it to have a kind of like a soft rounding. So glue on there. Add this guy following that score line. I'll do the same thing with the others, right? Just bring it here and then bring that there. Okay, before I go ahead and round this put together, because I am using a paper that's a little bit slippery, I really want that to hold, so I'm not going to mess with that quite yet. Let's bring this portion over, and then same thing with these guys. You're going to kind of want to do some rounding, so I'll take each piece and kind of go from the back and try to round it out a little bit. Okay. And then these guys we're also going to glue together. Oh my god, so again, the one on the right is going to have these portions. I believe we're going to glue both pieces together right now, so... Again, I'm not really scoring them. I'm just putting glue to the glue tab, but I'm not scoring them. So, put those right on the score line there. And we're going to glue this all together also, but again, I'll put a little glue here. Glue there and bring this guy over. Okay. And then these two are going to hold together right here. And we're also going to curve this into one circular shape. But for right now, I'm just going to put that together. I can see when it goes there, this one's a little bit different. So the way it kicks out with the glue tab. I'm trying to respect that. Okay. Again, I'll let that set up before we really... Put that one together also okay guys so i think i've waited long enough but again you're, you're looking for a cylindrical shape and not so much like a like a square but whenever you get the circle going that'll also help so let's bring this in like as i'm bringing it in i can feel that it wants to flatten out on that edge but you know you're gonna try to keep it round so as best we can we're gonna put that in here And 
And we're gonna hold on to that. So I'm gonna hold on to that for a good amount of time, especially for this one. Because again, it's that, see, the paper is very um, slick. So I'm gonna come back and continue holding this, but I'll do the same thing with this other piece. I'm just gonna get those together and put some glue on that tab and glue this one, I get a little crown shape like that. Okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have this portion. Smaller is easier to work with. It keeps the shape a little more round than like this guy. He would kind of look like a little popcorn box. But what we're gonna do is, this is the bottom. This is, you can imagine, it goes like this. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is put these score lines, these tabs, should I say, out. All right, we're gonna splay them out because the first thing you're gonna do is put your, um, the large base in here. So I'm going to do it face down so like the pretty side is facing down. I don't think you're going to see it from the very inside of the jug, but you know, I know it's done that way. So we have that and then we're just going to put some glue on the glue tabs and glue them back in over itself on the, onto here. So I am going to do something I don't normally do because I like just using wet glues, but since we are going to trap this anyway, what I'm going to do is take this guy and especially because I'm using a very slick kind of paper, um, I'm going to take some red liner tape and go around the edges you can cut it in pieces here and there or just kind of continue on. And I'm just going to line this out and I'll be right back. Okay, and we always give it a really good burnishing, guys, just because you want the glue to stick, but you want to pick the carrier off. So I always, I guess you can do it with this. I was using my hands. But you want that really stuck down so you can pick off the cover and leave your tape. And, you know, we're going to come in here and you're going to start rounding out. So maybe I'll start with like one of these guys because I can see that that one really wants to go. Just hold that down. Should hold on pretty quick. I did one layer. I mean, you can do two. This is a skinnier tape. And what I'm going to do is just continue going around. So pop this in here to help make this round, right? This whole thing. And then I'm going to hold things in. So I'm kind of squeezing it with my hand, whatever I have to do to make it more round. And maybe I go a little bit at a time. Okay, the whole thing is supposed to be round. So let's get it round. Sorry guys, I don't have to bring this closer to me to get really close in there and get that pulled up in there. There we go. Sorry, I just put it towards my body so I can <laughs> get this on here. Okay, and I'm just going to keep going around carefully, carefully keeping it nice and round, okay? Attaching it to these things. So as I'm in here getting this rounded, I'm gonna get this all glued up and ready to go. I know it's out of the frame, sorry. I'm holding it closer to my body, but what I wanna do is get some glue on this and I'm gonna trap it like immediately. <laughs> so I think that'll work the best. So let's get some glue right on that very edge and you see that's a generous amount of glue. I have this pushed up against my body so I can keep it round and that's kind of what is working for me. So sorry that I know it's out of frame, but that worked best for me. So I'm gonna push this down in here. Okay, and I have it pretty much rounded, holding on in some spots there. And I'm gonna bring this here and just use the shape of that on my surface. I need to bring this closer to me to really get that shape that I want, that circular shape, right? Give it a squeeze. And I'm gonna get in there with this guy and really push that down. That also helped me get that shape and that's perfect. So hopefully you kind of see what I was doing. I was trying to manipulate them both at the same time basically. So get that round shape going. Push that out. There we go. And I'll just look around and make sure everything's nice and round. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I kind of just followed it as best I could on the inside just kind of rolling it around there. So there you go. And then you're going to want to put this on Picking a side that you think looks best, I think that looks best for the front, because I like the way everything rounded out there, so that's good. That's going to be my front. And so basically this is going to go in here. And you're going to want to glue these. So let me just kind of mess with these a little bit forward and back, because basically they're going to be up like this at the beginning. This piece is going to sit in on top of this. Okay, so again, just getting it rounded as you can. those guys in there this side in here so, I, mean, I was getting this all in there and getting all down in there but I realized that it needs to be in the middle so I'm gonna put more glue just do this one more in the right section sorry um, you don't want it right down the center 
I just misinterpreted what they meant by that. You want this portion to go right down the middle of one of these guys, not here, because if you can imagine you're going to glue your handle and you need a flat side. So it needs to, again, gather them all up, just kind of pop them in here, which is fine. And it actually helps keep it more round anyway if you're looking for the center of one of the panels. Sorry, guys. Do, do, do. Here we go. And again, we just got to group them all in there. Just make sure everyone makes it inside, all the tabs. And it's not pushed down into the area. All you're doing is sitting it kind of right on top. So if you can see that score line right where the glue tabs are, that's where you're doing. So I'm just going to hold that and just do a few at a time. So like these first three, I suppose, I'm going to hold on to them. Right, kind of lining it up with the center of, again, one of your panels. And then you just keep going. Okay, so I'm just going to hold them, hold them, hold them, and okay, I'll be right back. So, have those in there. And so what I'm going to do is take this guy and pop it on. And basically, you can just kind of give it a rounding if you would like. But basically, what you're going to do is get some glue on wherever you think, however high up this should be. And you can imagine you're going to put this here as handle and you're just finding a spot so I mean I put maybe maybe an inch and a half or two inches of glue and again I'm using slick paper so I have to sit and be patient with that and then we're gonna bring this piece around and then just glue it like that down here right straight down from wherever this one is so I'm gonna let that set up it's already getting there actually so that's good and on this side I'm gonna put glue on the underside well I guess on this one I put it on the nice side right and this one I put on the underside. And you're just going to bring this down and match it up wherever it is that you want. But like straight down from where you were. There you have your handle. So I'm going to hold on to that. Again, you do have some decorative pieces if you want to put some decoration on this before you did this portion. And I will say one more thing on this part. This is what they call the lid surround. You need two of them. Um... It's basically going to go on one of these guys, the one that you don't have holes in. I'm going to make just one flower, so I think while I'm holding this, I'm just explaining to you guys. I'm going to take that guy, and I believe uh, these are the holes that you're supposed to use. These guys, so you have a few already, so you don't have to like just do one at a time, basically. So I'm going to take one of these, and I'm going to put it right basically in the center. Okay, so I'm just going to take that down, run it through so we have that ready to go. And then this guy does not need a hole okay I will be right back okay so we have two of these guys again we're gonna use it with this piece so we have those two we have this guy with the hole in it and again with however many flower stems if you want to use stems you know you're gonna do that uh, for this we also need a hinge and a closure so this I believe is the oopsie no that's not the hinge that's the bow that's for the bow so if you're gonna use the bow I think I'm gonna put organza ribbon just make a bow which is cute you have different pieces for your bow and it explains it really well in the instructions so not a big deal there but this guy and I believe this guy is what we need and we need one of each of these so I'll probably run these through the same silver and I have a little scrap piece here if I can find a spot for them yeah perfect I'll run those through yeah, put that there. This one here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and also take what's going to be my stem, and I'll just run this through some green paper. Okay? And we'll get going on that. Okay, so I have some of these pieces here. And I am so sorry, I just realized I didn't tell you guys the largest die size in this. So let me just get a measure. Obviously, this one is thinner and longer. Um, generally they have that information on the packaging and you can see the packaging on the link you know what I'm saying on the website there but it's nine and five eighths I would say by seven eighths of an inch that longest one and then the biggest one in this one I think is this guy which is about five inches and at the width is like three and a quarter and the circle is three and three quarters okay so those are the biggest ones on here um, so with this guy Again, I'm only doing one because I only have one stem. It's basically telling you to round this guy out because what you're going to do is just glue it together. This, you know, it doesn't look like it has any particular way to do this other than, let me see if it says anything as far as that. Yeah. Basically, I'm just rolling this and maybe trying to get these guys closer together. So 
Um, sorry, I left you guys kind of hanging with some silence there, but I was just looking it over and it says just to put glue on one end and just kind of roll it. This is going to be at the base of your flower. So in a way, I rolled it in a way that basically these three petals or calyx are near each other. And you can imagine this is going to go in here, so maybe we make it a little tighter. A little bit tighter roll. And if you want to use tools to help you do this, then, you know, go for it, of course. I'm just going to keep in mind that it needs to go in here, and that's probably pretty good, so I can probably push that down in there nice and taut. So that's it, and I'm going to put a little glue here just to finish that off. I'm going to hold on to that for a little while, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have this little guy ready to go. I don't have my flower yet. We have this piece. We have this piece for the underside of this, okay? So on this one, you have these little marks here. And basically you need to put a hinge and um, the little closure on one side. Um, well, it's not really, well, it's just a way to open it, I suppose. So I'm um, trying to see exactly what they're describing here. So yeah, so let me turn this over on the back side. You're going to put your hinge. Oopsie. And then that guy. So I'm going to put the smaller piece as a glue tab. So I'm going to glue that in the center, basically. So again, you have those little marks here. And we're going in the opposite direction of those guys. So, you know, not the biggest deal. Just kind of eyeballing where that goes. And then this guy is going to help you open. So, again, I'm putting the glue on the nice side on the little glue tab. And that will go, like, right across from this guy. Okay. You can look on the other side just to make sure. Actually, that's not quite centered. I'm going to put it a little bit further over here. Again, I put that hole in wherever I felt like, so that's also something to think about. Okay. There goes those guys. We're going to put our flower in there in just a moment. So in the instruction, they do all this, and then they move on to this. But for right now, I'm just going to come over here. And basically, this is going to go underneath, but you're going to have these little areas, these guys. That's why you need two. I'm sorry, I misread at the beginning. I don't know why. I just saw one, like in my <laughs> mind. This is going to cover that up once your stem is in there and things. And then these guys are going to be um, out and around here. So let me see. They're going to be like in here. Okay, so again, you have these center points. And I'm not sure exactly what they're depicting, to be honest, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is take these guys and glue them on like this. So this is the nice side facing, and you're going to glue these underneath. One on one side, one on the other side. So I would probably start with like the center one, and then kind of hold on to them. And I'm doing this all in, this, in the air because that's just what I do. But if you have a scrap of paper or obviously a work mat, um, I would probably do this. Kind of push it underneath. You've seen what I've done this. I've done this, excuse me, in other videos where I have something like this. That way you're using the pressure of the table to get this pushed under. Kind of bring them in, bring them in, bring them in. <laughs> And bring them in. Hopefully that makes sense. I know it's hard to see, but I'm just holding them. And they kind of curve in pretty tightly. Okay, so I'm going to hold that. There we go. Okay, keep my fingers in there. Hopefully you can kind of see it's kind of like a little slipper. <laughs> it's kind of curved up this way. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, guys, the second one just slid right on there because I was able to just do that on the table here. And there's a, these are going to get reinforced by this guy, so that's fine for now. Uh, let's go ahead and cut a little flower. I might make this a little bit lower since I am only using one flower. I might cut this. So we'll see. But um, for right now, let's... This guy. I'm going to take this one and run it through a few times. Um, you know, some paper that I feel like making my flower out of. And I'll be right back. Oh, and also the center. Just to have it done. There's a couple different flower centers. But I'll take that one. And one other thing we need once we place this is a little cover. This is this circle. There's only one that looks like this. It's to cover up this or to at least help it kind of adhere. So I'm going to run that through too. Okay. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I have some flowers. Again, we can do some shaping, you know. Um, if you would like, some really easy shaping would be just to kind of get one of these, right? 
all the petals. And I switched up the colors a little bit. So we have a few different layers. I have my flower center here. I have the little cover up. So how as many flowers as you're gonna put, it's not really a cover up, it's just to help it stay in a little more sturdily. Oh my goodness. And they are asking to, um, in the instruction there to give it a little bit of rounding on this part. Uh, I'm just gonna put this in my hand. But basically to kind of get it a little bit, something like that. And then, like I said, this one, I feel like I'm going to shorten it. So I push that in there. I don't know, I feel like it needs to be a little shorter for my project since I'm just using the one flower. Okay, so let's glue these guys together. Super bright, that pinky coral orange in the center. And that guy. And maybe a little bit off center from the one underneath so you can see it a little bit better. Cute. How cute would these be done in felt? Anyhow, so you have lots there. And then this guy opens up like this. And that holds on to there. So I'll do that all at once. And we're almost there, guys. Just going to put this together. And then hinge it onto our initial project. And again, I mean, this doesn't have to have this part in it. If you just want this, and maybe you're going to put some pencils in it or something like that, um, then you can do that, of course. Also, they had mentioned if you wanted to put the bow on it, the bow that comes with this, these strips and the bow and all that, you would put it on before you put your handle or the afterwards, however you want. Um, so I want this to be nice and delicate. Cute. I'm just going to push this in here. Again, I barely did this, so I'm going to be very careful with it. So i got to bring it closer to me to make sure I'm getting that in there. So it has a lot of tension just from that. And then you have this guy. And so I'm going to put the glue on here. Bring this guy, and I cupped it, so I don't know if the cupping goes up or down. But either way, I'm going to glue that down. I'm going to hold that for a little bit, and I'll okay, so hold that for a little bit. We're going to bring this guy back up, and, you know, we have these little notches. I'm going to line it up. Again, so on some of this, now that I've been working with it, I probably would use hot glue next time just so it grabs really quickly and securely for, uh, you know, ever. So uh, something to think about. Putting a ton of glue on that. It doesn't matter which one's forward or back. You're just making sure that it's basically the same shape. The shape is a slightly oblong. I don't know if you can see it. It's not a perfect circle. It's more like, um, like a bit of an oval. So anyhow, I'm just going to make sure these guys... Touching pretty well there. And I'll be back. I'm just going to hold that together. Okay, guys, so we have that. And then we have our hinge here. So, again, put a little glue on that. And you're basically going to pop it in here. Now, like I said, it is a little bit oblong. It's not exactly a, a circle. So I'm just going to pop that in. And I'm going to kind of put some pressure. I'm pushing against this to hold back there to hold that hinge in place okay so I'm gonna hold that down for a little bit and I'll be back okay. and while I'm holding that and getting that nice and centered there I'm gonna run through a few of these guys and I'll be back okay. and while that is setting up I'm not gonna mess with it too much I'm gonna come in and just glue some of these guys in again hot glue would be amazing I'm just going to put these things wherever I think I want them to be, like in here. Maybe this guy can be curled a little bit. Okay, I'll be back. Oh, sorry, you didn't even see. <laughs> I'm just going to place them wherever I feel like under here. Okay, guys, while that is setting up, I'm going to run some... I was going to use some organza ribbon, but I don't have a white one. I have purple and pink and burgundy and all these other colors. So I think I'll do black. And I'm just going to trim this to where I think it should be and just make a bow and then we'll finish those off nicely. So I'm just going to take this around here. And again, you could use the bow that comes in the kit. Make a paper bow. And I'm just going to finish that up. I guess I just make it look really nice. And I will be right back the way it looks. I'm just going to cut these guys at an angle. One's a little bit longer than the other. And then you always want to finish them off so they don't unravel on you. So I have this nice little torch. I can just come right here. And that side. 
and I'm going to give it a little bit longer for this to set up and we'll put it together or plop it down. Okay guys, so have that and then this just kind of pops down into its recess here. You have this little guy, it said only cut one. If you want to cut two and put one in the lip so you actually close it, you know, that's up to you or you can just kind of have that there as something to pull this open but the project itself is, excuse me, but the project pretty. itself is a really nice size. Uh, where did I put my ruler? Here it is. <laughs> right in front of me um, I mean from the very tip top of this guy it's about seven inches I would say and then I mean the circle I think we said it was like three and three quarters so three and three quarter diameter about seven you know or taller there I put the one little guy with the little stamp <laughs> just thinking out he's so cute and um, there it is so again you can put the little hinge with the flowers you don't have to put the flowers you can do whatever you like as far as that uh, but there it is, guys. So thanks for watching. Thanks so much, Tonic, for sending these items for a review. I'll have images coming up. I'll have the links in the description box. And I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.